Welcome back to the channel. Quick update on my Nano Talon UAV build. It's still in one piece and it flew multiple times. I'm super happy with this model. It just keeps getting better and better. This is, uh, this is where we're at. So back here, I've added the Arduino based uh, nav light and strobe, just a pulsing beacon. I did these in a previous video on the channel as well, multiple videos where I took an Arduino Nano and did this. Well, today we're doing things a little different. This is a DigiSpark ATtiny85. So I just ran it, uh, the strobes are on uh, single 200 ohm resistors for just current limiting and one shared negative return path to the ATtiny85, the DigiSpark module. You can see it even, if you can make it out, it even has a USB programmer built into it. You just plug it into your USB slot and program it so easy. I, I love these boards. I, I am, I'm sold. These things work great. So anyway, that's working fantastic. I was super happy with that. Uh, it's just on the top instead of the wing tips, just for obvious reasons, just to anything above me will be able to see this aircraft. I was able to maiden it at the local airport. It worked out pretty good. I don't have any good footage of it. Just a few seconds that I caught because my goggles were inside the car. Oops. And I was able to determine that my airspeed sensor here was not working. It was dead. So it turned out that uh, it worked on the ground in ground testing and I had done a calibration in INAV and I had to revert those values back to factory and then I just took it out for the remaiden to see whether that would make a difference. Well, the remaiden went fantastic. I took this thing out to the local model field. Bill, uh, a longtime friend, was uh, able to join me. He was able to launch the aircraft for me. It flew very well, all things considered. I did a few minor tweaks to the trim uh, in the air with his help. And then when I came down, I put the, the trim in mechanically. That means any of the control surface, which was a little left aileron it needed and a little up elevator. And you can see this on the back of the aircraft that I have just a little bit of up elevator programmed in mechanically. And that, that took care of everything. On the next flight, it flew around great in manual mode. I even flipped it into autopilot controlled for a few seconds to make sure it wouldn't flip out. It worked good. The video system worked fantastic. I'm super happy with that. That's the AKK Ultimate X2 here. And it just, it works bloody great. Uh, my mounting is not the best of that. There is airflow coming in under the tape, but uh, yeah, I could do a little better on that mounting, but overall super happy with it. Run cam up front, as you can see in the overlay, the video was not bad. It's still a little twitchy, obviously, because I'm in full manual mode and in full manual, I have no stabilization, no help from the flight control. But that's where we want to be. We want to get everything dialed in with that first and then make sure everything is happy, happy. And we're there. This thing is pretty good. Now it's time to move on to testing the autopilot controls. And then as well, I have these. These are 433 megahertz telemetry modules, 100 milliwatt that I can use to send the telemetry from the plane back to my laptop and do bi-directional control of the the waypoint missions uh, for doing like search and rescue. Uh, fantastic to be able to instantly upload a waypoint mission to the aircraft via these. We'll see. Um, I don't need them for flight telemetry because that's already coming down from the FR Sky uh, radio system, which will also be swapped out in a week or two when they show up. I have TBS Crossfire system inbound. We'll swap this out for Crossfire. I'll put the antenna across on the back. That gives pretty much unlimited range for what I like. Legally, you can't fly beyond line of sight. So it'll be plenty <laughs> it should work good but the the maytech flight control you saw here before is working perfect the radio system video system everything it just it works and the only thing i did was on the initial maiden i cracked the foam here because when i came down it was a uh, drastically out of trim and uh, i wanted to get down actually there was the aircraft coming in and i just bumped the bumped the ground a little hard and it just caught the pitot tube but the pitot tube is working in the 
as you saw in the in the overlays now and seems to be very accurate i'm very happy with that i don't think there'll be any calibration required so overall uh, next up we add the aux camera too uh, i'll use the aux input and then i'll hook my run cam down below uh, the high definition camera or stick it to the side depending on how much payload i end up taking up in the bottom down here uh, with other projects uh, search and rescue gear there's a uh, Wi-Fi sniffer that I'm putting in there, so pretty handy. Yeah, overall, I think we're there. I love this plane. It flies so much so after my second Maiden when we got it dialed in and everything is working, throws are good, I went on GearBest and ordered another one with my PayPal funds. So yeah, this is, uh, I love these things. This, this Nano Talon, I want to grab it before they discontinue the darn things or whatever, but yeah, pretty happy. This is going to be a fun bird. Cheers, guys. More flights to come.